This is that Fly King and T.S. Madison, baby. And we got a question. Is it all? Boy, the Fly King Eye coming at you live, not from the motherfucking palace, but from the motherfucking Las Vegas, bitch. I had a photo shoot, had to handle some things out in Nevada. Um, I had a lot going on over the weekend. I dropped a new single called Superfly, which you can catch on Fly King Eye Superfly. It's on iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, wherever you purchase your music or buy your music, make sure you just support it. I did play a clip of it earlier, so you could check out the preview and then go support the single, support the Fly King and his throne. Anyways, enough about that. We're here to talk about Chasing Dallas, Season 1, Episode 3. Now, I'm a little late because, as I said, I had a lot going on. It's just been a busy week. I did the best I can. Y'all was in the comments like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and it's like, hold on, girl, give me a minute. So I just got a minute to lay down, bitch. I can't even fucking rejuvenate my face, bitch, right, girl? Girl, so let's talk about this episode. So the girls is at the Easter egg, adult Easter egg hunt, right? Now they start to go into the little fight with Tony Price and King Kang, and they do a little rewind. And on the rewind, we see that Reese is um talking to one of her guests, and she's basically like, Oh, Charles said he can't go, but I see the nigga on Instagram. At some fucking bar, acting like he couldn't come to him, like my event wasn't fab enough when I came to his empty ass event. You messy BCG. So, anyways, then we get into the then we get into the to the fight, right? After the fight, bitch, I don't even know what the fuck they was mad over. It sound it sound like where everybody was speculating that Tony was supposed to fuck, but then I think King Kane had too many safety pins on his pants. And he couldn't, they couldn't get, they couldn't get it done because it was just too many safety pins. They trying to put on this poke in the condom and shit. Like, bitch, we gonna get, we gonna catch some fucking with all these motherfuckers. You know, King Kane be having all them goddamn safety pins up the crack of his ass in his jeans. So they couldn't fuck. So, you know, Tony was frustrated and was gonna run up on him on site. He up there and Markel talking about the bitch look like Coachella. And I was like, it's more like broke Chella, sis. You fucking tried it, bitch. Coachella is $300 a ticket. You fucking tried it. That bitch King Kane was sitting up there talking. And I know y'all seen it. Don't make me pull up the clip with his motherfucking hood and that highlighter Sharpie uh, trench coat he had on. Bitch, I didn't even know they made highlighter neon yellow trench coats, bitch. He looked like... A fucking pitcher lemonade, bitch. He looked like this. <laughs> a yard of fucking margarita, but the lemonade kind. Mm hmm. King Kane was sitting up there with his cheap chella trench coat, pea coat, blowing all in his face, talking about, well, you know what I said I was going to run up? And you, and Tony Price, like, oh, you know what I said I was going to run up? And it's just like, girl, just fuck. But then again, you can't because this nigga King Kane got too many motherfucking safety pins thumbtacks and bobby pins all up the back of his jean pockets so girl by the time you get back there you be gonna scratch your shit all the fuck up bitch everybody's getting some next fucking scene oh god here come this nigga premiere and i figured out why they call this nigga premiere because he be premiering these outfits and i be like lord what the fuck is going on bitch who is gonna premiere this bitch with a new stylist this bitch had on a shirt bitch it was straps down the back, straps down the side, straps flying out. It was a long sleeve strap shirt, right? With some shorts, but then some knee high boots. And I'm silly me, bitch. I'm like, what in the Katy Perry is going on? Because I'm like, either you're hot or you're cold. It's yes or it's no. It's in or it's out. It's up and it's down. It's wrong or it's right. Bitch, you either hot or cold. You got on shorts. With knee-high boots, 
with these straps on, walking in, talking about you going to a meeting. Then she walk in the meeting with it with with a party planner. The party planner in there with a fucking visor talking about, hey, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, yes. Bitch, take that fucking visor off your head, dummy about. Thank you for coming and having this meeting with me. I know you a very busy man. That bitch ain't busy. That outfit was busy, bitch. That outfit was busy, bitch. It was a bumblebee. It was busy. But that bitch ain't that goddamn busy, bitch. But I'm curious to see these bitches' parties. Y'all let me know where this bitch be having her parties at. Like, what is the requirements? Like, you got to come in with an outfit and you got to cover up your face. Like, I can't even see what the bitch look like. How does the bitch plan in the party? Like... Put that over there, you guys. Oh, place that chair back there. Bitch, you can't see what the fuck we doing, bitch. This bitch says she want to have a chicken and hit to see party. See? <laughs> bitch, what in the fuck is a chicken and Hennessy and cognac party? A chicken and cognac function, bitch. You have to get a party planner to get some Hennessy and some wingettes. Bitch, if you don't go down to the Albertsons to get you some fucking frozen wingettes and a goddamn uh, fifth of Hennessy and stop playing with us with these Hennessy and wing parties. Bitch, I'm not coming to that, bitch. So you can wear your fucking visor and your fucking thigh high boots with Daisy Duke shorts on talking about, hey, yeah, I'll take the Hennessy and chicken wing. Bitch, so anyways, I guess we'll get to see this chicken and wing and EBT wingettes party that premiere is supposed to be throwing with the fucking visor party planner but anyway she didn't have a dior one i got the dior one it's over there i ain't finna go get it girl you know i got it <laughs> anyway so then we got markel on the radio station whole time we wonder what the fuck this bitch got to talk about even the radio host was like yeah we got markel here and we're trying to figure out what she's got going on and i'm like girl not a goddamn thing so then she get up there talking about all the shows she done got nationally cheated on and, you know, things of that nature. All these different shows and all these. Because, you know, she's a director and a producer and a chef and a painter and a Nassau engineer and some old shit. So she was on there talking about all these different shows, My Way of the Highway, How to Get Cheated On in Less Than 15 Minutes. You know, the, you know, the, the high class shows that she does. He proceeds to talk about how his breakup with his boyfriend was such a profound thing that happened in his life. Like most people, he said he was with the nigga for almost a decade. They was engaged and they got on TV and he had a whole nother nigga. Okay, bitch. Ha! He got on cheat. That nigga was with you for a decade, goddamn near. Got in front of the cameras. And a whole new nigga you ain't even know about. Talk about, oh, it was sad to find out we wasn't on the same page. Bitch, y'all wasn't in the same library, bitch. <laughs> same page, bitch. Y'all ain't even, y'all wasn't even using the same Kindle, bitch. The same Nook, bitch. The same audio book, bitch. The same page. Girl, you better stop playing. So then... We we at Markel house. He having some type of game night with all these games he just stole out the Dollar Tree. So then, Premier is there. Reese G is there looking beat. She had some type of Erica Badu up rap with her stone jewels in. Then she had this ethereal wrap around with this necklace coming down. It was giving. What is this velvet? She looked like a velvet cupcake bitch up there. Go on, Reese G. So then. Charles pop in, so Reese G like, oh, I got some bone to pick with them. So I guess, so I guess they're talking about how Charles was talking to some nigga, and him and Reese G was becoming cool, and he don't really go around telling who he be dating. And he told Reese G, and then it end up be some drama behind it. Then he proceeds in the, in the confessionals to say, oh, feminine guys usually don't come on to me. Because I'm really, I mean, I'm not feminine. Am I feminine? I don't think I, go, I I get feminine. I wear this feminine. Sis, on the first episode, you had every Skowalski crystal on that blazer, bitch. You is feminine. Or I don't give a fuck what extra large shirt you tried to put on this episode or what snapback you tried to slide around, sis. That ass was feminine on that first episode, bitch. You was up there looking like ruby red, shining and gliding, bitch. You was looking like Annie, orphan Annie, with all that red on shining. And that $1,500 blazer, you stole from Woodley, 
um, investment that he made into your company that your really good friend that you said on this episode, Reese G., said that it ain't really your company because when he when Reese G came to the party they didn't even know about her coming so he alleged that it ain't even your company so you stealing money from companies that ain't even your you got a lot the girl that sound feminine to me bitch it sound fish some smell fishy to me <laughs> Reese G is explaining how and what, what 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 did she say she said she talked to Charles X X X X triple x x-men wolverine and then storm across the way b king and tony once again is having a back and forth about some shit over the situation with king king about him turning the bitch orange on purpose because he ain't like her, the girl because the girl was king king friend now we find out on the preview for the next one that this is the argument where um tony confronts um, B King and says, "Oh, I heard you said that I was sleeping on tile and wood floors, and that I be doing this and I be doing that." And King King was like, "I don't know anything about your no." I'm sorry, King King, King B, B King, B B Kings, girl. It's so many peasants on the show. I can't even keep track of it because you know it's only one fly King. B King darling. was saying he doesn't know anything about that, so we'll see what happens. How it wraps up on the next episode and how this whole story with this bitch they need to show this I know and y'all didn't take a picture of this bitch orange tangerine face that Tony Price painted Tony you fucking tried that because if you a brand don't be painting no bitch orange cause you don't like that hoe you still got a brand to uphold bitch have bitches out here looking like this in the face sis you can't be fucking doing that well alright y'all I'm excited for next episode the next one should be up on time all right, y'all have a great week. Love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodaloo.